Hey everybody, I'm Jack Rita. I'm a designer on Dune-themed games and expansions, and I wanted to do a video where I talk a little bit out loud, stream of consciousness style, uh, about tech tokens and the potential future of tech tokens, maybe even some second edition types of ideas. And just to be clear, there's currently no plans for a second edition, so it's pipe dream, a territory, but I, I like hanging out in that territory, so I'm going to go ahead and have speculative discussions about it. Just as a reminder, tech tokens were something that I designed for the first expansion, the Ixians and Tlilaxu expansion, um, and it comes with three tech tokens, and they correspond to different factions. Two of the new ones, so the uh, Highliners tech token, that is the uh, starts with the Ixians if they're in the game, the uh, Exolotl Tanks starts with the Tlilaxo if they're in the game. And then you've got the Spice Production token, which starts with the Fremen if they're in the game. But if some or none of those factions are in the game, you can still play with tech tokens, and they're just randomly assigned to other players uh, to kick off. Um, now, over the last few years with tech tokens in play, We've learned that three maybe wasn't enough because primarily of the Bene Gesserit exploit where they get a hold of a tech token, maybe even two, and then uh, they, they flip to advisors when everybody tries to pick a fight with them. Um, and just to back up a step, so you start with these and they, they generate uh, a small amount of spice income. Uh, which is increased if you have more than one. And if you have all three of them, it counts as a stronghold. And so these were designed to do a couple of things. One was to just inject a tiny bit more spice into the economy. Uh, but the other was to potentially speed up a game. So if you've got all three tech tokens and that counts as a stronghold, it should be easier for that faction to win the game, either solo since they only need to occupy two strongholds or even within an alliance. Uh, now, there's the rule that if you're in an alliance and one member of the alliance has two tech tokens and the other one has a three, this does not count as a stronghold for that alliance. And many people have asked me, why Why is that the case? And I think uh, one of the playtesters during that expansion, uh, it may have been Brad Johnson, um, they, they suggested that. Uh, but the reason that I said, no, I didn't want to do that with the tech tokens, and I've mentioned this elsewhere, and that is because um, if if two factions have all three tech tokens and then a nexus occurs, uh, it becomes a little bit too obvious for the two of them to join up uh, because it's going to give them an extra stronghold right there. And if you're a faction that has one or two tech tokens, um, it's generally because things are going pretty well for you already. You're probably in a strong position. You may have won a battle or two and gotten the tech tokens uh, that way. So, because that's the only way to get one. If you beat somebody in a battle and they have a tech token, you take the tech token. Uh, so I didn't want that to be the case. Um, I would, and I've subsequently suggested that if you're playing with a really high player count, seven or eight or nine players, which is uh, not officially recommended, but it happens, and I do it myself, um, you may want to consider having the alliance allow that. So if one member of the alliance has two and one has one, then yes, you do have. I think the jury is still out on that. Uh, but it does bring me back to the possibility of five tech tokens, which I've definitely warmed up to. Uh, to the point now that if um, if I could have, I would have had five. And I like the idea. Uh, I was not the author of it, but the, the two tech tokens that I like, one is um, the miniaturization one, which starts with House Rich S, if they're in the game. And, uh, and it doesn't earn anything, um, but it's just another tech token that control can change. And if you've got three tech tokens, that's a stronghold. Um, and the other one being tariffs, which would start with Chome, that is um, it's triggered by anybody other than the Emperor buying a treachery card. Um, so I like that idea. I have since begun wondering if the miniaturization one might also be one that triggers whenever Rich S sells a Rich S treachery card, or maybe they sell any treachery card. It's going to trigger uh, once per uh, game turn. Um, 
because giving Rich S a, a, a one spice uh, bonus is certainly not going to break uh, the rules at all. So, uh, and it's another one where if, if, if Rich S aren't in the game, you can still have that tech token. It's just never going to be triggered, which is fine because that was kind of how it started off. So I kind of like that idea now where it becomes something that uh, they can use to trigger. Um, but there have been a lot of other players uh, who have been wanting to come up with additional tech token ideas. Uh, in fact, I remember when the expansion was first announced and tech tokens were kind of previewed, not completely, uh, but uh, I believe it was Chris Lahr, the original Funky Grognard, who began to speculate about what each faction's tech token was, uh, and then later found out that there, there, there were only three. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, but there were, there were some fun ideas. There were some that even he said he was grasping at straws trying to think of something for it. Uh, but that hasn't stopped other players. And in fact, there have been some that have uh, recently been added to uh, one of the many Dune Etsy shops, um, or not necessarily a Dune Etsy shop, but an Etsy shop with a lot of Dune stuff in it, um, with a bunch of new tech token ideas. Um, I don't have any of those yet, so if I get a, 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 sent a set of those, I'll do an, a, an official review of what I think on there. But there are definitely some ideas, and they even poked me in the brain uh, for a couple of things. But uh, another avenue that I was thinking about uh, and in conversations with Jaded, who's one of the uh, playtesters that Future Pastimes loves to uh, use and abuse and uh, has participated in a lot of the battle languages. In fact, all of them, I think, so far. Um, but we were talking about this idea of uh, since some of the tech tokens don't seem to be technology centric, um, and then we were wondering about an, another category, something like an industry token. And I like that idea where you might have a couple of factions that have industries, or not necessarily tech. So let's say the Atreides, they've got like the uh, Pundi Rice or the, uh, I think it's called the Moonfish. Um, it's an industry. It's not so much a technology, but uh, it might be the sort of thing where if you've got one or more factions that have these industry tokens and they don't trigger on their own, um, but maybe like the Chome tech, tech token, when it triggers, they trigger as well. So it's this economic boon that happens around. And the other thing that I like about the idea of the industry tokens is that they don't change hands. So if you beat the Atreides in a battle, you don't take their Pundi Rice or whatever whatever their industry ends up being. You don't take that token away. Um, so they've got a little bit of an edge in that they have a token that um, they can't lose and they just need to pick up two more for it to count as a stronghold. And so I don't know for sure that I would go that route, but it's something that I think is interesting and I would love to get into a discussion about it more. Maybe we'll have a battle language discussion just about tech tokens and tech token variants and get into it more. And I think this is what I'm hoping this video does is it precipitates that further discussion, but I, I definitely want to see what people's comments are and, uh, and we can get into it a little bit there. Um, so yeah, I think if there is ever a deluxe edition of Dune or a second edition of Dune, we will definitely revisit tech tokens. Um, I think the advantage of a deluxe edition where it's it's the same edition, it's, uh, but you're maybe upgrading the components, and then you could potentially add in a few things if you say, yeah, we're going to upgrade the tech tokens, or we're just going to say, here's an exclusive extra couple of tech tokens. Um, there could be some ideas there. Whereas a second edition, uh, by that I mean there's, there's some rule changes, nothing drastic, but uh, it's not the exact same rule set. So there may be some differences to the factions, differences to a couple of the basic rules. Um, and in that case, you know, you've got carte blanche to mess around with tech tokens and see what you want to do. So let me know in the comments, what do you think um, about some of these ideas and you have other ideas uh, of your own? And if you know about other discussions about them, you know, drop a link in there or whatever. I know that there's a couple on Board Game Geek um, that I follow. I've subscribed and uh, I definitely, um, yeah, I'm always curious to see what comes up. I think there's some great ideas floating around. I think there's some cuckoo ideas that I don't necessarily uh, advocate, um, but plenty of good stuff in there. And I think it's an area that uh, doesn't necessarily 
create a lot of mental overhead. Um, the tech token idea, um, I think, has been adopted by a lot of players as a pretty easy way to, like I said, add a little bit of more, a little more spice to the economy. Uh, it doesn't get crazy. Um, and then you've got that benefit of the having three means you've got a strong hold. And I think if you've got if you've got five, I wouldn't want to go more than five. I think it, then, it, then you start to get out of hand. But if you have five, then even if the Bene Gesserit do try to um, evade responsibility and not get, it, not get into battles if they've got a tech token, um, yeah, that's fine because there's enough other ones uh, floating around. And if they've got three, they well, now they really have a good reason to avoid a fight because they've got a, a stronghold that nobody can touch, essentially. And uh, and then they just need to fight it out to get two more. Uh, or, you know, if they've got an ally, fewer more. So that is it for this video, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.